All right. Welcome, everyone, to today's special episode of Ask Google Webmasters. Here today with a special guest, Martin. Hi, everyone. And thanks for hosting us, John. Oh, it's great to have you here. So in the Ask Google Webmaster series, we take questions that were submitted on Twitter using the hashtag Ask Google Webmasters. Uh, today's questions are on the topic of Search Console. So let's get started. Gev asks, Googlebot seems to be rendering only a part of our pages, according to the Search Console screenshots, even after the recent evergreen Googlebot update. Question, is it just the screenshot, or is there something faulty that I need to worry about? That's a good question. And um, in order to not just answer with it depends, let me go a little bit into more details. So if it's content that you care for that is really important to you, you should make sure that it's actually rendered. But you should also check the rendered HTML source code if it's not in the HTML. Because maybe sometimes it's in the HTML. It's not showing up on the screenshot because it's below the fold or something. Um, so make sure that it's in the DOM in the source code that we show as rendered source code. Um, and also, sometimes things just go wrong. So try, try again, I guess. So if it's below the fold, would it? just not be shown, but still be used for indexing? Yeah. yeah. It's just we have to cut the screenshot somewhere. So we're going to cut it where normally, like especially if it's a mobile crawler, where the screen for a mobile phone would end. Cool. Thanks. All right. Our next question comes from Twitter user Twitter Inofficial. And they ask, why does Google Search Console always tell me that there's a JavaScript error when I use arrow functions? Why does it not support them? Well, that's an easy one. So thanks for asking me that question, Martin. Uh, the short answer is we support them now. So if you try again, it'll probably work. <laughs> for our last question, Merlinux on Twitter asks, why does the URL inspection tool report a status code 200 for a page that absolutely returns a 301 redirect? Nowhere in Search Console does there appear any indication that the URL tested gives a 301. That's correct, yes. And um, the reason behind that is that the URL inspection tool is designed to show you what happens when we index pages, right? And what happens when we get a 301? We make a new request to the URL that you redirected us to. So we are not ending up with a 301. We are ending up with whatever happens on the page that you redirected us to, in that case, a 200. Um, and that's by design, basically, because the URL inspection tool, as I said, is meant to show you what actually happens when Googlebot processes your website. So I, I can see how that might confuse someone who has yeah. double checked the result code, but that definitely makes sense. So all of these are about the URL inspection tool, which is a cool part of Search Console. I heard you even made some code changes there. Is that correct? I did. Yes, that is correct. I made a tiny little change in the code. Wow. So what's involved there? Can I just go in there and add a bunch of images of cheese? Or is someone actually watching out for? <laughs> there are people watching out. So I worked with a team. We agreed on building a certain feature. And then they guided me through the process of making that feature actually happen. I wrote the code. Um, they made sure that it's tested properly. And we are now running what's called an experiment. So basically, new features are undergoing a testing phase first. And only if I pass that testing phase, my code will actually run for your inspections in Google Search Console. So you can't just add new stuff to it or break existing things. Wow. On the one hand, I'm kind of sad I just can't add pictures of cheese. But on the other hand, it's good to know that we're sending tools that actually work to our users. <laughs> yes. I hope you found these answers useful. Uh, thank you for submitting them all. If there are more questions on the topic of Search Console or anything else, feel free to submit them on Twitter using the hashtag AskGoogleWebmasters. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Martin. And goodbye. Thank you. Bye.